the time is here we have a new football game guys after growing up with just pro evo and fifa ufl have come for the throne it's gonna be an interesting 2024 let's get into it so you have to choose your own captain as well at the start how interesting the Bruyne, Zinchenko, Firmino, Ronaldo. But it's not going to be Ronaldo because, um, yeah, Team Messi. <laughs> Firmino, I'm not really affiliated with Firmino too much, to be honest. Zinchenko plays for my t team I support, Arsenal. But Zinchenko isn't really, uh, he's not really that compelling. And we have the Bruyne as well. Your captain will have the highest attribute scores of your starting squad. You know, I think it's important to have a player. No, I'm going to have Zinchenko. Plays for Arsenal currently. Why not? Formation. 5-3-2. 4-4-2. And 4-3-3. Um, we're going to play 4-3-3. And then, boy, it gives you randomised players. That guy at the bottom, Bella, he looks like Dido. Um, so you are now ready to play online matches. So what? This is a purely... Um, online like an ultimate team dream team from Pez as well where it's a randomized team so are these faces all randomly ge generated as well that's pretty cool let's turn the music right down to the bottom don't want to get any copyright mistakes <laughs> so this this is pretty cool this reminds me of old school pro evo pro evo used to be very heavy on the right stick um, it's not like how it is on FC24 where you have to mo mo for the most part hold down one of the trigger buttons um, yeah this is like pro evo this is very good and it always feels more intuitive when you can do it with just the right stick it just makes more sense um, but wow I wonder if it's going to be behind like certain players are going to have certain skill cards or if certain players are going to have certain star levels like how it is in FC24 and that's going to unlock more skills for them or if it's just off the rip all players can attempt most of these skills here like it is in eFootball where um, if, if you have a more skillful player or a player that has high dribbling then they can definitely do the skill a lot quicker but other than that most players can do most of the skills that are on show pretty much what you would expect when it comes to the button setup um well cross was actually square and shoot or circle but i'm more of a pro i grew up on pro evo where square was shoot so i swapped that around um, and it's also the same walk and run is pretty interesting because what happens if you just press l by itself um and then defense as well is pretty bog standard but i swapped over sliding tackle this is good so they have different ways in which you can modify your passes so you can do driven passes, you can do a normal pass, or you can do a lofted pass, um, a flick pass. You can also do curling shooting, lifted sh lofted shot, which is like a chip shot, low driven shot, which is pretty similar to spectacular shooting on eFootball, and also a power shot on, on FC24, um, and a skill shot as well, which is something that's going to be interesting to see as well. So yeah, all of this is good to have in the game. Um, it's something that we're definitely going to try and try out. So you can only play ranked match currently. As you all know, this is an online game. Looks good. Seems like he chose Kevin De Bruyne to be his captain and his main lead, the leader in his side. Let's get into it clean presentation so far i mean you so you've picked your starting lineup they give you a formation you can't really change anything beyond that i wish there was a bit more color in the loading screen it looks a bit bland i am definitely getting old school pez vibes from this the presentation looks clean though Yeah, this looks really good. The 
commentators sound decent as well. It's very quick, very nippy. Wow. It's a bit... How do you jockey? Wow, it's very... It's very responsive. Very responsive. I feel like the sprint needs a bit of work. Or you probably need to take your time a bit more. Yeah, if you press the sprint button, they knock the ball ahead of you way too much. Look at all the options he has. We're witnessing dynamic football. A choice of passes. It's a bit um Looks interesting. The ball's in the area. Yeah. Attacking is definitely something that people are gonna have to get used to. Zinchenko. The sprint button. It's more like a knock it forward type of thing. It's not a oh, it's good, it's good interception there, but we give it away. Oh, might be in there. Good save by the keeper. Wow, the key I didn't even bring out the keeper there. He just came out for himself. And we're on the counter. Try to do a one two. Let's cross this in. Header. Oh wow. It definitely feels as though you have to take your time when you're running with the ball because. It's easy to intercept. The ball isn't as connected to your player as you would like. Oh, nearly got him there. It does feel a little bit sluggish. It does feel a little bit delayed. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this corner star. It's kind of like an elastic. You move the left analog stick, but and, and then it moves back into central position. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that corner kick star to be honest. It's not um you can't it's not, you're not really aiming in the best possible way, I don't think. Oh come on, the sprinting is definitely could do better there. I'm just gonna try and play some possession football here. Yeah, defending is very, very. As long as you're in the right, the right tra trajectory, you get the ball back. So you kind of have to make sure that you're planning ahead. As long as long as you're in the right path as a person, you're gonna get the ball back. I'm going to get the goal. Get in. Base button. An X. Call me. Call me, bro. Let's go. Uh, there. But it's half time anyways. You know, it's interesting. You know, it, it definitely feels like, like a different game. Def definitely feels like a new game. Um, but you can feel that there's a bit of work to do to add a bit more weight to the ball and a bit more weight to the player. Yeah, defending defending isn't too difficult as long as you're in the right... As long as you're in the right trajectory with the player, well, you might get a goal here. Oh, we got lucky. Come out like a new team. Let's get it to Zinchenko. 
Feels like pro evil though, like a like a very early build of pro evil. You know, nice play. How do you? So you can trigger runs by tapping L one. Oh, just try to get that in, get the, you know, the cheesy tap in. <laughs> Yeah, so crossing, you kind of like have to move it with the left analog stick, and then it if you you have to apply pressure. If you don't, if you let go, it goes back to center. Keepers are a bit OP. I mean, I don't think that's ultimately overly realistic. Oh, what a ball! Let's go! Another goal. That's what I'm talking about. Great ball from Zinchenko. Seeing the run. That's what I'm talking about. Play that down the line. Oh, that's a good interception. He's taking long shots, guys. He's taking long shots. He's taking long shots, guys. Yeah, so far, I feel like the, key the keepers are actually pretty decent. Um... Yeah, the keepers are pretty decent and it's it's very interesting that, like I said, um, they come out automatically on corners. It's a bit OP, I think. I like that you can trigger runs just like how it is in FC. Yeah, let's play a little bit of football here. Oh, wow. We lost that one there. We're going to go on the overlap. It does feel a bit... A bit light currently. They need to add a bit more weight. Keeping control of the ball in the midfield. A bit more weight. And we'll be cooking. But this feels like old Pez. Go for goal. Finish. Oh man. Oh. Oh, try to do a little in and out skill. Nice. We're in again. Let's get it in. Shoot. At the near post. Let's see if he celebrates this time. Feels very interesting though. Shoot. Good turnaround. <laughs> Nearly got off four. There you have it guys. First game in, F in UFL. And we won by three goals to nil. You know, all in all it felt fairly fluid um you know the dribbling felt good the shooting but it was a bit too ice skatey if you know what i mean you know it, a bit light the players felt a bit light on their feet so when you win you get credits i don't know what back to back is but it might might be some kudos that you get after each game like some objectives that you can do so brick wall i can imagine it's around clean sheets gentleman is probably around fouls without delay i'm not sure what that is second half master yeah we're getting a whole load of things boy <laughs> we're getting a whole load of things energy auto recover enabled the amount will be deducted when the window is closed don't know what that is but it took five hundred and seventy six thousand credits to do I imagine that's probably going to be the, around the fatigue and so uh, after each game your players gain experience points their fitness goes down and um yeah that's that's very cool that's very cool so it, there are real players in this game that you can eventually get to um i assume they cost those credits so saka for instance here is 139 million and we only have 12 million in the bank which is absolutely crazy for what you want to achieve then you can press square on these guys and go to their stats so there's acceleration sprint speed finishing shot power long shots attack positioning penalties awareness for passing pass accuracy crossing free kicks your Saka is a really good player Saka is a really good player I'm definitely going to try and build an Arsenal oriented team and there's also skills. Look at all these skills. Wow. 
Wow, that's insane. Oh wait, so these two are locked, but he has all of these already, which is interesting. This is pretty cool. Some of them will add, add to your overall attributes and others will give you actual um, modifiers. So like this one will give you more curl and you could even get like a number two version as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. And I'm not sure how it works, but I think when you fill up your XP bar, you get a skill point to use. So we've acquired two skill points from Vigorito. <laughs> what a name that is. Um, so we can add five to goalkeeper diving. Yeah, let's do that. You can hold down X to bring it up. Um, and then what's this ball watcher adds plus 10 to diving and handling during shots from outside the area. Let's also give him reactions. No, because defending is still something you need to get used to. So let's see how, they how this affects their reactions. And let's give our right back some more defensive positioning. This is a very cool feature. I can see players getting lost in this, building players how they would like. So those are challenges and you get re rewards off the back of those challenges. Um, so there's back to back, which is around winning several matches in a row. Watch your legs, um, doing blocks, but executing tackles. Um, play score repeat scoring several goals we're going to claim that reward second half master score second several several goals in the second half claim that record reward win matches yeah so there's all a heap of other challenges that they're giving us to do this or over this week weekend whilst the beat beta is live um, it's all pretty interesting stuff you know and fairly bog standard for a game like this um, eFootball do the same thing um, you FC 24 so do the same thing so you can also get team passes um, which uses your XP points to buy or well, your LP points to buy sorry and uh, yeah he has these different tiers where you can get different boots more experience points um, yeah and all these other types of goodies RP points I'm not sure what they do currently but yeah you can you get the gist it's pretty bog standard isn't it session football Zinchenko is our highest rated person player. Yeah, defending. He is rushing down. Look at, look at him running around like a headless chicken. So Zinchenko is on the wing. Yeah, cr dribbling is something that's going to take getting used to. Nice interception there. Yeah, this guy's running around like a headless chicken. Little switch. To the wing to Sanchez. Oh, ref. Wow, he nearly got that through. I'm going to shoot. Do you need to do a skill yet? I'm going to do a little roll. That's our first skill. The roll is a little bit aggressive, I'm not going to lie. They just called him... They literally just, <laughs> they called him left striker. <laughs> oh my gosh, how, they, <laughs> how can they call him left striker? I know, I know, I know it's a beater, right? But come on, man. Can't just call him left striker. Let's do a one-two here. Get down the line. There's no one really in there. I'm going to cross it in though. Head up. That's one thing I like, you know, just because you're using a fast player, you can't just boost your way. You can't just boost your way past. Oh, he's going to score here, though. Poor defending. Poor defending. This guy is just literally. Oh, come on. The dribbling and the, and the sprint. It's definitely work to be done. It's definitely work to be done. The thing is, I remember them saying this was going to be more a sim than anything. Right now, it's feeling very... It's feeling very um, arcadey. I have 
Let's see how free kicks work. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> that was a crazy shot. But I'd be lying if I say that um, it's not a bit arcadey. It's a bit arcadey. What a header. Let's see if we can get a header away from the keeper. Feels like everything goes to the keeper. That did it. Oh, that was a good cross there. Let's see if we can do a one-two. Oh, come on. I feel like he just held back his run. Oh, he really should have pressed harder. Really should have pressed harder. Really should have pressed harder there. All in all, I have to be honest about this game. There's definitely room for improvement. Feels The players feel a bit silky. Um, there's not enough weight on the football currently. Um, I know it's an open, it's a beta at this stage. Um, and they're definitely going to be making improvements. In terms of like the menu and the concept, it's pretty bog standard with what you get in games like eFootball um, and FC24 Ultimate Team. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they change it, how they switch it up though. It's going to be very interesting to see how this year pans out with having four football games all, rele all releasing around the same time. I think what might work in this favour though is that the fact that it's going to be, I guess, less pay to win than anything. But when you look at the market and the, I guess how much is needed to get players like Jude Bellingham, Jude Bellingham, um, Mbappe, Saka, De Bruyne, like those really good good players, um, it makes you think there might be a pay to win element at some point incorporated into this, um, but it's going to be that's yet to be seen and yet to be known. I'm, I'm not really sure on the specifics of the game, but you know what? It's a, it was it was fun to play. Um, it was interesting for sure just to have another football game out there that we can definitely sink our teeth into um, it's, it, it can only make FC better, it can only make eFootball better and we also have FIFA 2K coming out as well, FIFA 2K25 so four football games uh, defending I feel needs, def needs to definitely be revamped um, as you saw in that match it was pre pretty much if there there's, I, I think there's probably too much hand holding too much hand holding and defenders. If you're in, in, if you're in the path of the attacker, you're going to really intercept the ball from them. Um, then there needs to be a bit more work in just to make in, in how to make defending a bit more intricate. From the perspective of okay, you need to jockey. The game slows down, um, and you know the attacker's positioning is very important as opposed to it just being a case of oh. I can just overrun you and win the ball back or I can just run into your path and win the ball and, and win the ball back I didn't really have too much because of how fast paced it was um, you didn't really have too much time on your hand to try out most of the skill moves that they did um, that that they did show um, but you know this is a beta um, they definitely do have time to change all these things I think the game will probably benefit from being a little slow a, a, just just a touch a bit slower um, just to give people a bit more time to plan out their um, um, plan out their attacks because right now it does come across a bit arcadey to be honest shooting also feels a bit sticky um, this do not really feel the weight of the ball like I've said before so it feels more like you tap it there's a slight delay and then the shot comes out um, so there's a bit of work that can be there. Goalkeepers, like I mentioned in the in the game, um, goalkeepers definitely are OP from corners. Um, it's very difficult to take corners, to be honest. At this point, um, you kind of move the analog stick into well, the left stick in the um, in the in in the general area that you want the ball to be kicked in, and then. You have to hold that pressure there otherwise it moves back to its central position which i'm more really a fan of that to be honest i'd rather we either have um, a camera angle behind the taker 
and you aim with like a line or you just aim with your own eyes like how it does it in in in, in, in pro evo i understand it's trying to be trying to do something different um but different doesn't always equal better so in this case for me i think they should rework how corners are taken um free kick looked decent to be honest i had that one free kick with zinchenko you kind of just i'd kind of just aimed where i wanted him to shoot um i didn't really see too many other options around how to curl the ball um or, or where to hit the ball um but yeah they can definitely rework that as well goalkeepers seem pretty good anyways that's all i have for you today um, on my channel you would find some fc24 career modes that i'm currently playing with arsenal and i also created a new club that's focused on just african youth players and i play a host of other games too but like share and subscribe if you'll find that interesting and i'll catch you all on the next one peace